Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I'll be unboxing the new TCL Tab 8 Next Paper 5G. Now this just launched at Verizon and Total Wireless. Let's take a look at it. All right, so you guessed it. This is a 5G tablet and it is 8.7 inches. Really nice matte finish on the back here. And this is not your average tablet because it has some really cool technology that makes it really great for reading as well. In the box here, you'll find your SIM card tool right there. That's for putting in your Verizon SIM card. We're gonna need that a little later in the video. In the box, we're gonna get a charger. This is a type C, type C to type C. Here's the quick start reference guide, but you're probably not gonna need that because I'll be shooting a full beginner video on this. So if you need to learn how to use it, uh, I'll have a video coming out in a couple of weeks that will show you everything from beginning to end to make your experience super easy. Now one important thing to note it only comes with the USB-C to USB-C cable. It will not come with a wall charger and you will need that to charge it. So I'll link one on screen right here. This is an anchor charger, very reliable, and it'll work great with this tablet. So on the right side here, we have our volume up, volume down, and our power button here. And we're simply going to hold for one second to turn the tablet on. You'll feel it vibrate, and that's how you'll know that it is on and you'll see the screen light up. So while it loads up here, I'm gonna get my SIM card ready because you will need to put that in for the setup. So now most stores you go to, they will do this for you. But if you ordered yours online, you will need to put in the SIM card yourself. Here's the SIM card right here and you'll just push and it will come in multiple little trays. So you'll have to push until you get down to that little tiny card. On the left side of the tablet, you will find your SIM card tray. We're gonna use our SIM card tool to eject the SIM card tray and to put in our SIM card. So there's a little hole right above the tray. Just put the pin in and give it a good push and the tray will just pop right out. All right, here's our tray. Now there's two slots. The first slot is for a micro SD card. You can expand the storage up to two terabytes. It will come with 64 gigs on board, but if you want more, just get a micro SD card. I'll link some good micro SD cards on screen right there. And okay, the second slot is for our 5G SIM card from Verizon or Total, Total Wireless. So you will need to flip this over and you'll put the SIM card in and it'll fit nice and snug. Now one important thing to note, the bottom right corner of the SIM card has a little bend and that's where it's gonna fit. It'll fit, it only fits one way. All right, so watch this. I'm gonna flip this over because that's how it's gonna fit back in our tablet here. And this can be a little tricky. You might need to do it a few times. You're just gonna put it right back in, push, and there we go. Um, you do need to put that SIM card in to finish the setup. Without that, it will not let you get all the way to the main screen. So that's why I opted to do the setup before even interacting with the screen. Okay, now we're gonna hit get started. We're gonna accept the terms and conditions. It'll show your mobile number on screen right here. I have it blurred out, but that's the mobile number for the tablet. We're gonna connect to a Wi-Fi network. You'll see it search for a couple of seconds and then it should show all the available networks. You simply select your home network and put in the password. Once you put in the password, give it a couple of seconds. It'll show connected and then you'll go to the next screen. Next, specify where you'll be using the tablet or specify if you're 18 years and older. Okay, on this screen, you have the option to copy data from an older tablet or an older phone. So for example, if you have an older iPad and you'd like to transfer your data, you can simply hit next, 
It'll ask if it's an Android tablet or an iPad. You'll select and then it will walk you through what you need to do on the other tablet to set it up to be able to do the transfer. I won't be transferring any data. I'm just gonna set it up like a brand new tablet. So I'm gonna hit don't copy. Next, specify who will be using the tablet. Next, you'll need to enter a Google account that you'll be using for the tablet. Remember the Google account is for downloading apps and also for checking your email as well. So whatever the main Google account you'd like to be associated with it is, make sure you input it right now. You might get a pop-up like this. It's asking you to verify that Google account on another device. So you might have that account signed into your phone or to your computer or to a tablet. So look for a pop-up on one of those devices. You're gonna hit yes, and then you'll need to put the number you see on the screen. And that is just showing that you are the account holder for that email. We're gonna hit next. Agree to the Google terms. Okay, so this tablet does have facial recognition. You can set it up to unlock just by bringing the tablet up to your face. I plan to set this up, but not at this moment. So I'm just gonna hit skip. Okay, now we can choose to put a passcode on the tablet so that it'll be locked. And if you wanna get into it, you have to put in that code. So I'm gonna make the code just one, two, three, four. I encourage you to make it harder, but I'm gonna make it simple for the sake of the video. Hit next, put the same code in again. Hit confirm. Hit more and accept. Now, this screen is optional. It's asking if you want to turn on Google backup and you can have it back up your photos, your videos and other data. Now, this can be helpful, especially if your tablet gets lost, your information will be backed up to Google cloud. And when you sign into a new tablet, it'll load all that data automatically. When you sign in with that Google account on the next tablet, the problem or not problem, but rather the thing you should know about this is that Google only gives you 15 gigs of storage for free and after 15 gigs you will need to pay a monthly subscription to have more storage it's a very small amount i want to say it's around 99 dollars for 100 gigs and i think like five dollars for like a terabyte something like that so keep in mind that while this is a great feature it will cost you some money down the road if you want to keep up with backing up your data and it's a subscription that you really have to keep forever. So I'm gonna opt out of turning it on for now. I do have it on other devices, but I won't be putting it on this device. We're gonna hit continue to finish our setup. This is if you want to transfer contacts from a nearby device. I'm gonna hit no thanks. Next, you can set up your Google Assistant so that it's always listening. So if you ever say the hot command, hey Google, the tablet will automatically wake up and then you can ask it things. This is also something that I tend to skip. But if you want to activate your Assistant, you just need to probably hold down your power button. That's usually how it works. So I'm gonna skip this as well. So this last screen is super helpful. Um, if you'd like to add more email accounts, you can tap add another email account and then you can add other, other accounts that you might wanna use with it, so that's helpful. You can change how the text shows on the screen in case you want the text to be larger or smaller. And here you can change the wallpaper. Maybe you wanna make it something more personal like a picture of uh, a family member or an event. You can do that here. And here you can um, edit some of the lock screen notifications. Now, a lot of these things I'll go over later in the beginner video, so I'm gonna say no thanks for now, but keep an eye out for that video and I'll make sure to link it in the comment section once that video is ready to go. Next, it's asking about Verizon services, location information and app information. Okay, here are a couple of recommended apps. So they're asking if you want to install any of these. Okay, so we are on the main screen. This screen looks really beautiful so far, which is great. Now, one of the really cool things that makes this tablet stand out is that uh, the screen is very dynamic. It allows you to access certain uh, brightness levels that almost no other tablet is gonna let you do. So I wanna show you how to toggle between those different options and show you what they look like. So if I press this button here, it's gonna give us the three options. So these are the different next paper modes. 
So right now we're in the regular mode, which is high definition brightness, original colors. Now we can switch to the color paper mode, which is low saturation, soft color paper like display. And then you have the full ink paper mode, which is like looking at an e-reader. Like for those of you that have had a Kindle at home that is the e-ink technology, which is just blacks and grays, um, you can switch to that mode, which is very easy on your eyes, great for reading. And you can just toggle back and forth between. That's again, one of the unique features about this tablet. So let's take a look at both now. Let's start with the color paper mode. Tap and hit enter. And we'll see how the screen is going to adjust. And there it is. So if you notice, it removes the background and it looks very similar to uh, if you've ever seen one of the color Kindles, I can see that all the colors are um, very dimmed down, very minimalistic. You can see the colors, but it's very light, really easy on your eyes. I can see this would be really great to use when you're using the tablet late at night. And you can see all your menus look more like that uh, very simple minimalistic style, which is really cool, really nice. I stare at a screen all day, and so it would be really nice to be able to just switch to this mode to give my eyes a rest because they're always staring at a really bright monitor and a lot of colors. Now, let's toggle to the full e-ink mode. We're gonna tap that button again, and this time we're gonna tap the ink paper mode and tap enter mode, and let's see how that mode looks. So there it is. So it basically is very similar to the other mode, except it removes all the colors all together and just different shades of gray. And this is great. The tablet still moves nice and smooth and quick. It's just e-ink. So the cool thing about this is one, really great on your eyes, really great for reading. And also this is going to conserve your battery so much because it's not using any color to produce the display. It's just black. And so that's so great. I, I, I can't wait to test the tablet out to see how long the battery life is because I'm sure in this mode, it'll last so long. I can go to Chrome and I can use Chrome in just the full e-ink, which is pretty cool. I've never thought about doing this, but there we go. Still nice and smooth. Everything works like normal. It's just without the color. And it might look like it has some color on the screen, but it's totally gray, everything I'm looking at. So to get back to your home screen, you're just gonna swipe up and that'll take you back to the main screen. So if you wanna get back to the color mode, we just need to press that same button on the right here, the lowest button, and it's gray so you can't miss it. There we go. And now we're back in the full color mode. So pretty sweet. This is just the beginning in this video. I just wanted to unbox it, show you how to get through the setup. Now I have more videos coming. I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot, how to print. We'll do some cool tips and tricks, show you all the cool things you can do with it. Uh, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those important updates. Some of the videos I will be posting on my other channel, which is called Tech Made Easy, and I will link that one on screen right here. So you can subscribe to that channel as well. The beginner video will be on that channel, so I don't want you to miss that one. So keep an eye out for that channel, and that's where you'll find the beginner video and some other really helpful tips and tricks. If you got value out of the video, make sure you bump that like button down below. Thank you to TCO for sending the tablet so we can take a first look at it, and a lot more videos to come. Hit the like button if the video was helpful. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.